Welcome to the Daily VA. Today, another book review with Greer and Ross, Verbal Behavior from 2007. Scratch that, 2008. Roll that intro. So first of all, you're probably asking, why are we reviewing a book that is like, what now, 10, 11 years out of date? First of all, there's extremely valuable information in behavioral science. Just because something is old does not mean that it has not lost its value. It is an empirical question and much of this holds up. Second of all, which is more of a personal recommendation, is this book was the first book that I got my hands on and after my mentor handed it to me, I wanted to hit him upside the head and say, why the hell did you not get me this thing sooner? It has been that valuable with clinical outcomes and helping me troubleshoot clinical cases when it comes to autism related disabilities. My favorite feature about this book is that they've broken it down into a succinct way to look at the prerequisite skills for the development of verbal behavior in language. And it's done so in a way that is different than many of the standard assessments that you see with the PEAK, VBMAP, ABLES R, etc. that are out there. Now these things could be useful because you know you get to see a list of the ways in which things are built. However, what's really unique here is the procedures are described the research linked so you can figure out where it is that are, the breakdowns are occurring in the skill sets you're trying to help develop with people that are struggling to learn language. Now, I have not practiced for the past three years. I've, I've since moved on to different formats, creating conferences, videos, and such. However, when I was practicing clinically, this was something that I referred to almost daily, definitely weekly, trying to understand what skill sets someone has and how to test and understand if they truly have them. So sometimes there's things you don't necessarily think of. So for example, matching sensory stimuli. Uh, how do you understand whether or not somebody can really see, hear, taste in the ways that we can? Well, they've developed procedures to help understand those sort of things in this book. I cannot tell you how oftentimes people would show up and say, this person has this skill set. And when we analyzed the situation, looked at what was actually going on, they did not, but we did not have to just come with that bad news of, hey, actually they don't have the skill set. We'd be able to say, hey, it looks like we need a little bit of refinement here to really understand and help help tighten that up, make sure that skill is fluent. And I knew exactly what to do because of this book. Now, if I had one complaint, my number one thing would be, damn it, Greer and Ross, we need an update to this book. Um, I know that the research lines are continuing. If you follow the journals, what's being published, you can see those sort of things continue to be developed. However, this thing needs to be taken in the context of, of while what's talked about is solid, what has happened since then is a refinement of this sort of knowledge. And if you want to go chase something specifically, uh, Doug Greer and the work of his lab students and those at Columbia's Teachers College and who've gone through that program have continued these sort of lines of research. So who should read it? I would say anybody in behavior analysis, especially if you're in a position where you're working on developing language skills, regardless of what it is that your, your company uses, this will be a valuable tool immediately for you understanding what is going on, whether that's you, whether you're in a position to help somebody or you're just trying to understand why decisions are made. This is the framework of how behavior analysis approaches language. You do not need to read any other book prior to this in verbal behavior. They will bring you along. Chapter one, as you can see, is dedicated solely to teaching you those sort of things. So you do not have to have that developed beforehand. I've included the link down below. If you're interested in this, please like, share, subscribe, tell the world about behavior analysis and some of our useful research. And I will see you in the next one. That is your daily BA.